Former Governor Lincoln Chafee's official portrait was unveiled at the State House today. And we first showed you a sneak peek of the painting last week. It depicts a somber looking leader. Unusual, just the way the Democrat wanted it. New at 6, we're talking to the artist. Eyewitness News reporter Perry Russom is in the newsroom now with more. Former Governor Lincoln Chafee met with the artist six times before the painting was complete. It's not your typical governor's portrait. Chafee told the artist he wanted his to be different. It's a piece of art eight months in the making. Take a look at Lincoln Chafee's eyes. Artist Julie Guerin says she wanted to capture the former governor's sense of feeling isolated in the state house. His hand rests on a rock, a note to Chafee's love of nature. The other hand is, is pulling the jacket off a bit. And I think that shows sort of a firmness and also uh, a, a sort of uncomfortableness with that jacket, a wrestling with that weight. The painting will now hang in the State House halls next to the other former governors. This portrait, of course, is perhaps the best historical record of the history of Rhode Island for future generations. When you see the portrait, take a look at the bottom of the rock. You'll find a faint L and an R, a personal touch from the artist, her children's initials. He, he sent me very positive responses. He's really happy with it. One person not at the unveiling was Chafee himself. He's on vacation, but the artist says he didn't want to be there. We would have waited for him if he wanted, of course, to be at his own unveiling. He. He really uh, wanted to step aside for for uh, the new governor. The painting cost $15,000. The state's council on the arts says that price may need to be revisited down the road. In the newsroom, Perry Russell, Eyewitness News.